As the world's population continues to grow, farmers rely more and more heavily on nitrogen-rich fertilizers to grow enough food for everyone. The element nitrogen is essential for all living things, but especially food crops like grains. But the uptake of nitrogen by plants isn't very efficient, which means a lot of excess nitrogen is converted to nitrate and nitrite in the environment. These chemicals eventually end up in freshwater sources like lakes, rivers, and groundwater aquifers that are used to provide drinking water. But when ingested by people, nitrate and nitrite cause problems like diseases and various forms of cancer. Catalysis is one way to destroy these contaminants while still treating water. Catalysis makes reactions that are normally slow much faster. In this case, palladium metal is used to combine hydrogen with nitrate or nitrite to convert them to nitrogen gas, which is released into the atmosphere with no harmful effects. However, palladium is really expensive, which limits the use of catalysis. My research is focused on trying to improve the cost of catalysis. I look at creating nanoparticles that are alloys or mixtures of various metals. Sometimes these metals are really easy to combine, while other times, making them into an alloy is extremely difficult and has never been done before. The nanoparticles I make are less than 10 nanometers, which is 10,000 times smaller than the width of an average human hair. Or, if you imagine a marble being the size of the earth, the nanoparticles that I make would then be the size of a medium school bus. We take these alloy nanoparticles and use them in place of the palladium catalyst to destroy nitrate and nitrite. By monitoring the rate at which our catalysts destroy the contaminants and comparing these rates to each other and that of pure palladium, we can start to understand how the composition influences nitrate and nitrite reduction. We can then use this knowledge to create better catalysts so more people have access to clean water while still making sure that we can feed everybody.